Now, Kelly McFarlane is here fresh from her amazing safaris in Africa. And uh, you're going to tell us about some of the amazing animals that you saw, Kelly. Yeah, I don't really know where to start, but... Um, well, yeah. I know. Let's just call it yeah. what Kelly did on her holidays, <laughs> shall we? And this is going to be better than what we did on our holidays combined. Uh, shall we start with, you can tell us about the African, the wild African dogs. Yeah, so these are really, really rare to actually see. They are um, currently in danger. Or, or did pretty much their numbers did drop quite dramatically now to about 5,000. So, um, yeah, so to actually see them is, is extremely rare. And luckily for us, we saw them three nights on the run. Wow. So, yeah, so I was very... And they've got Very happy. different feet to domestic dogs. Yeah, there's, there's a few little differences between them. So um, the first one is they are actually called the painted dog. It's one of their nicknames. And that's purely because of the way they look because they're quite spotty. Um, the second thing is um, they actually have four toes on their front feet. What do normal dogs have? Five. Okay, I knew yeah. that. <laughs> uh, longer legs as well. And they don't have an undercoat. They actually shed their fur. And finally, when they're older, they do become bald. Um, so they, they lose all their fur. And the final thing really is um, they end up with, the, they've got little round ears. So okay. they've got like Mickey Mouse ears. And they live in packs as well, I guess? Yeah, so groups up to about 27. They live in big family groups. Um, so anything from two to 27. Yeah, wow. Well, groups. that's pretty, pretty exciting to see those. Yep. Uh, and you saw some pretty beautiful gorillas as well. Yeah, very lucky. Um, we did the gorilla trekking in Uganda and um, we were entertained quite a lot by the gorillas. Did you take that photo? I did, yeah. No way. Yeah. Wow. So that's, that's, um, yeah, so there's a couple of babies and they kept me entertained for at least an hour. So we had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and you're really close to them. Like what an absolute treat yeah. to see them. Were they a bit scary? <laughs> Uh, they were big. I wouldn't yeah. say they were scary, um, but they were certainly big. <laughs> and you saw some hyenas as well, which are fairly rare to see. Yeah, there's different types of hyenas. Again, um, usually the, you tend not to see them during the day. Uh, luckily for us, we saw um, a group of about six that I'd just had a kill. And the one that you see lying here, he was just um, hanging out under the tree. So he's like, to... you, it looks like he's saying, like, you need to step away from me. Cute ears, though. Yeah. They've got really cute little ears. Yeah. But you see hyenas all the time in cartoons. Surely there's lots of them around. <laughs> Not when you're in Africa. <laughs> and let's end with a beautiful baby elephant. Yeah, so the ba I saw quite a few baby elephants. Um, this one is probably about four weeks old. And, yeah, absolutely adorable. Um, and we're also, yeah, he's oh, cute. Wow. I know. Um, so, yeah, so we're very lucky again to see quite lots of young babies. And um, we did see, um, which was quite breathtaking, a 10-minute-old baby elephant as well. So it had just been born and all the other elephants were around it trying to encourage it to stand up. Is that and... a little bit emotional? Um, it was quite breathtaking. I would yeah. have a little bit of a moment there, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. How many cards do you reckon you used up of photos on your trip? Oh, God, I've, take, I've taken thousands of photos. So we're going to be dining so on still... your trip to Africa for yeah. weeks slash months. Yeah, from, I'm, I'm still uploading to Facebook at the moment. <laughs> I know, I know you are, Kelly. I've been seeing it. Well, the photos do look tremendous. And what a trip, what a trip of a lifetime to have. Uh, thank you so much for thank joining you. us and showing us your gorgeous pics, which you took. I'm so jealous. Uh, and we have a $50 Pet of the Week voucher available. Congratulations to Lexi from Ashburton. You are our winner this week. There you go. It's not the African Plains, but it looks like a pretty comfy place anyway. Uh, post your favourite pet pic to Facebook and you can be into winner as well. Pet of the Week is proudly brought to you by Pet.Kiwi, a one-of-a-kind pet store that provides free vaccines to shelter animals.